Hey guys, this is Pavel from Awesome Presentation. Um, this time we will try to do a nice looking um, welcome slide with some pictures. So let's let's get to it. We'll start with changing color of the background to something slightly darker. That's fine. Now I will play around for a little bit with uh, with shapes. Doesn't take too much. The um, main takeaway from this video is how to play around with grouping and ungrouping of the shapes. So uh, have a look how you can really use the functionality in your experiments with PowerPoint. So I'm going to use triangles to build this nice looking shape. I think I'm done. Um, let me remove outline. The, uh, we're going to group it so we can freely move it around without having any risk that the separate single triangle is going to move in different directions. We stack a couple of those groups together. Or maybe one more. Now I'm gonna group all those groups together to be able to move that shape as I wish. And also I can resize it without any risk. But I'm gonna resize just some of the shapes within those groups. Uh, I think I'm happy with the placement and the size, so I can now ungroup this. I need to ungroup it twice. So ungroup big group and the subgroups. Now I have separate triangles all over the place. Let me copy this slide to play around a little bit with the two pictures that I would like to uh, put within the triangles, or at least make a, uh, make a perception that they are within triangles. So first I'm gonna start with my main picture, or oh, even before we're gonna do that, let me do something, one more thing, let me insert one more shape, a rectangular. Send it back. And now I'm going to basically make a hole within it by subtracting all my triangles. Well, I think a few more left. It's a second try. One more try. And the problem is that those shapes are much too close, way too close to the edge, and it's getting really problematic to select all of them. Let me give it a last try. I think now we are good. One left, this is totally fine. Let's do it separately. And of course, remove the outline. Okay. Now, the color of this rectangular is going to be exactly the same as, as our background. And we will insert our main picture. And of course, put it to the back. 
make it slightly bigger. I think you are seeing, you see already where I'm going with it. Now let's crop it. Good, we are halfway there. So now we need to play around a little bit with our secondary shape. And that's gonna be a picture of the skyline. Move it to the back. Okay. As I said, I don't want this to be too dominant. So I'm going to just use a couple of the triangles on the, on the edge of my main shape. Let's see how it's going to work out. Give it a second try. Mm hmm. Or maybe this. Okay. So now I'm going to group it again, and I will place our picture within it. Okay. Yeah. I think that's that's much better. So now let's place our title. Let's of course make it much more visible. Change font. Make a different color of the font, something blue. Make the connection with the main picture. Maybe let's make also an outline. Of the same color. And. And just the. Let's hold the for for the text. Let's see, let's see how it's gonna look like. Um, and I think we are done. Let's see. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Um. If you like this concept, please leave thumbs up. If you would like to see some new videos and be up to date with some new ideas, please subscribe and see you next time.